All right, we found ourselves in a green side bunker here. I'm gonna grab a 56 degree wedge and show you how to just give it a nice little bump and run right up next to the hole. So today I'd like to focus on club selection and shot selection out of one of these green side bunkers. What we have here is a ball just rolled into a green side bunker. I've got about 20 yards of green to work with here. Choose a 60 degree. I have to fly the ball almost all the way there with some spin. It's a tough shot even for tour players. So what I suggest for amateurs and mid to high handicappers is just make life easier on yourself. Grab a 56 or 54 degree sand wedge and we're gonna play just a simple bump and run out of a bunker. Uh, it will lead to more pars, uh, more up and downs, lower scores, which is all what we're looking for, right? So the shot for today is just a simple greenside bunker shot. I'm gonna show you a cool way to get uh, the ball rolling up on the green close to the hole so we can try and make par. All right, so let's dissect the shot that we have here. Let's break it down. We've got uh, you know, about five yards of uh, bunker that we need to navigate and then a slopey fringe area all the way to the hole, which is uphill. So I can't really go directly at the pin with this, uh, with the green sloping away. I might end up 15, 20 feet away from the pin. I have to take a little bit more unique, aggressive approach into the fringe, all right? And then just let that ball roll up there, all right? So the play is just out of the bunker, no spin, let the ball roll up, curve towards the hole, all right? The play here is to get low, balls below my feet, just slightly forward of center. And all we're trying to do is just splash the ball out of the bunker. And there you go. All right, and that's the lesson for today. Don't always pull your 60 degree. Often opt for a 56 and just roll the ball right up to the pin. Make more pars, lower your scores. <laughs>